Hi, I'm Mihaela Telekan and you are watching Healing with Foods TV, your source of nutrition and wellness information, helping you take charge of your health and happiness using real whole foods as medicine and much more. And my question to you is, are you aware of the relationship between oral health and total body health? And today, I have with me a special guest. His name is Dr. Tarantola. Dr. Tarantola became a dentist in 1982. In addition to practicing, he has lectured here and abroad and published a dental textbook along with numerous scientific articles. His byline is his philosophy. Your teeth, your health, your smile. Restore the harmony. A healthy mouth is necessary for overall health and with optimal health you smile from within. He is passionate about being meticulous with the dentistry he does. He does general, cosmetic and implant dentistry with a holistic whole person approach. Hi Dr. Talantola. Hi. Thank you so much for being with me today. I'm very happy to be here. Thanks for the invitation. It's a pleasure. So uh, today we are talking about the connection between the oral health and total body health. Mm -hmm. However, before we dive into that subject, I would like my listeners to know what sets you apart, what makes you and your office different than all the other dentist offices we see around. Oh, thank you. Good question. Uh, let me just start by saying I've never seen a tooth walk into my office. Teeth are connected to people. And we have to remember we're treating people, not teeth. Um, so the first thing patients notice when they come into our office is it's very calm and relaxing and we allow plenty of time to get to know the patient first, to have a conversation, uh, to listen to their concerns and desires and expectations, to uh, answer their questions um, and to make sure that uh, one, we understand the patient as a person and how they feel about their oral health and how it relates to their overall health. Uh, the other thing I think that sets us apart is um, the time we allow to do procedures. You know, dentistry is a profession of many tiny little details. And for dentistry to turn out well and be long-lasting, all the little details have to be paid attention to. Uh, we don't book multiple patients, so you'll never find me running around from chair to chair. I, that patient in the chair has my undivided attention so that I can pay attention to all those details that are required to make sure that we get the results, not only that I expect, but that the patient expects. It makes sense. And I have to say that uh, I am a patient of Dr. Tarantola, and when I went there for my first evaluation, I think I spent maybe two hours or something to it. Uh, about that much, and he took care of everything. He evaluated from smile to gum and roots. So it was a very different experience. Now, let's dive into our subject, mouth-body connection. Good topic, good topic. Uh, believe it or not, the Mayo Brothers, the doctors who started the Mayo Clinic in 1910, over 100 years ago, said that a healthy mouth can add 10 years to one's life. Well, that was over 100 years ago. In the past 10 to 15 years, there has been a lot of research uh, talking about the connection between what happens in the mouth and overall health. And it really, really boils down to two things, bacteria and inflammation. Uh, the uh, dental disease, uh, tooth cavities, uh, gum disease, is a bacterial disease, a bacterial infection. So those bacteria that are in the mouth obviously don't stay in the mouth. They're coursing throughout the body and can have an effect distantly in some other organ or some other system. Uh, and the other thing is inflammation. If one has gum disease uh, or even an inflamed tooth, uh, inflammation is a universal process. The biochemical mediators of inflammation obviously don't stay in the mouth. Those two get into the bloodstream and course throughout the body and can have a bad effect on other systems and other organs. So it's about getting rid of bacteria and minimizing inflammation. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> it's something I'm working with all the time. Exactly. Restoring gut health by adding and, and replenishing uh, the gut with healthy bacteria and controlling inflammation with the anti-inflammatory diet. 
it's important to recognize that oral health is not separate from total body health. That's okay. very important. Now, let's see what is um, making a holistic, because you're a holistic dentist, you have a holistic approach, a holistic also called biological dentist, what makes it different than a, again, conventionally trained dentist? Well, uh, first of all, we have many patients uh, seeking us out because they want their silver mercury filling removed. Uh, and uh, in their quest for health, um, they feel that the silver mercury fillings are, are related somehow to some disease process that they may be having. Uh, let me start out by saying I'm a dentist. I don't make a medical diagnosis. If someone feels that what's happening in their mouth may be related to their overall health, we work with a couple of really good holistic physicians in the area and we'll get a medical diagnosis along with my dental diagnosis. But if we do decide that we need to take these silver mercury fillings out, we, we do it in a very safe way. Uh, the mercury vapors, the, the, the grindings from the silver mercury filling are not healthy to either the patient or us and we're around it more than the patient is. So we have a very strict protocol that we follow when we remove these silver mercury fillings. Uh, so that it is done in a safe, healthy way that has minimal impact on the patient's overall health. Uh, and the other thing is the materials that we use. We use, in modern dentistry, this is one of the great things that has happened in modern dentistry, is the materials. Uh, we have porcelains and composites that are very biocompatible, biologically friendly. And not only that, but they allow us to restore the tooth in a very conservative way. Uh, the traditional materials, for example, porcelain and metal crowns, and we don't use metals in our practice, uh, you know, required a pretty aggressive reduction of the tooth, um, which is, you know, can be pretty traumatic to the tooth. So these materials allow us to be very conservative. We only need to uh, restore what's diseased or unhealthy, and we can preserve and protect the parts of the tooth that are already strong and healthy. Right. That's great. How about uh, extractions? Do you do anything different when it comes yes, to extractions? Yes, good question. Extractions also, yes. Um, uh, if an extraction is not done properly, there is the potential that a cavitation can form sometimes many years later. A cavitation is basically an infected hole in the bone. The black hole. The black hole, <laughs> filled with bacteria and dead disease and bone. Uh, so it's not just about taking the tooth out but it's also taking out any diseased or uh, unhealthy bone. It's about taking out the periodontal ligament uh, and, and making sure you're down to healthy bone. Uh, we don't leave the gaping hole. It's all about how the surgical site is closed up and sutured so that bacteria is not getting into the site as the healing occurs. And, and these steps uh, not only minimize post-op discomfort, patients rarely have discomfort after attractions, but down the line, it allows that extraction site to heal in a healthy way. Properly. Properly. Are there any other developments in modern dentistry that um, make your job easier and our mouth <laughs> or the smile yeah. <laughs> beautiful? Well, that's another good question. Yes. Um, the field of implants in dentistry. Uh, we've been doing implants in dentistry for over 30 years. They have a 95% success rate. Uh, the the uh, process of placing implants has become very refined in the past five to ten years. Uh, implants allow us to, to replace missing teeth in a very conservative way. Uh, traditionally in dentistry, if someone was missing a tooth, you had to get what was called a conventional bridge, which required, mm -hmm. required the adjacent teeth to be cut down for crowns. Uh, dental implants allow us um, to replace only the tooth that's missing without having to touch the, the teeth on either side. So it's a very, again, a very conservative way to restore teeth. Um, I like to tell my patients, dentistry is at a point where we can do almost anything. Wow. Uh, the hard part is the patient and I sitting down together and figuring out what is best and what is appropriate for them. What's the plan, exactly. Wow, sure enough, Dr. Teratola brought some light into the future. Uh, now, not only you are aware of the relationship between oral health and total body health, but you know that with modern dentistry and holistic approach, uh, you can actually have a beautiful smile. Uh, now, Dr. Tarantola, if um, folks that are here in Jacksonville want to get hold of you, schedule an appointment, where can they find you? Well, the best place would be to take a look at our website. 
Uh, we have a lot of great information uh, that patients can learn about us and our way of practicing. RestoreTheHarmony.com. Oh, and by the way, Restore the Harmony is really our byline. Your teeth, your health, your smile, Restore the Harmony. Uh, another resource uh, for patients that uh, maybe are out of the Florida area would be an organization called the International Academy of Oral Medicine and Toxicology, IAOMT.com. Uh, they have a directory of member dentists, um, so if someone is out of the state of Florida and they're looking for a dentist that practices similar to this, that would be another good resource. Excellent. And your office is here in Jacksonville on... Uh, here in Jacksonville, yeah. about a mile south of Memorial Hospital okay. on University Boulevard, 4131 University Boulevard South. Great. Phone number? Phone number 904-737-5511. Excellent. You're going to have all this below the video with a link to Dr. Tarantola's website. Thank you so much for being uh, with me today. Thank you. I really, pleasure. Thank yes, you. same. I really, really enjoyed, and uh, I feel like I learned a lot, and we shared uh, great uh, information with uh, the audience. Did you like this video? Subscribe to my YouTube channel, share with your friends and family, and come on over to healingwithfoods.org. Put your comments right below this video, and also get to get periodic updates that I only send via email. Put your email in the sidebar box. Thanks again and I'll catch you next time. Happy smile.